So the Sixers come out and sign Andre Drummond. Is that good or is that bad? This is Philly talk with Philly Mike. Talking Sixers in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, eagles fly. This is Philly talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? Y'all already know who it is. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, if you haven't done it, turn on post notification so you know when I go live, drop some content, all that good stuff, and be sure to hit that like button. Maybe, just maybe, it inspires Daryl Morey to get some guard play in here and follow your boy on Twitter. That's where we talk Sixer news behind the YouTube scenes at Philly underscore Mike 25, but let's jump right into it. Andre Drummond, one-year deal at the vet minimum. Now, I need to know y'all immediate thoughts. I was at work when this happened, and I tweeted, and I didn't save the tweet to put on here, but if you follow me, I tweeted, I guess this is the new method. Just grab the backup center from the Lakers we got Howard a year ago and now we grab Andre Drummond but let me know your thoughts initial thoughts on Andre Drummond signing with the vet minimum for a one-year deal let me know before I say my thoughts which is this to sum it up if you were happy about Dwight Howard last year then you should feel the exact same this year because Andre Drummond is Dwight Howard with a post-up game. Yes, now back in Dwight Howard's day, he could really post up, but all he offers now in his latter years is rebounded defense and energy off the bench for Joel Embiid. And that is what Andre Drummond's going to offer. Now, we do got to talk a little bit about the beef <laughs> that's been going on against Andre Drummond and Joel Embiid throughout the years. This is one of the things that Joel Embiid said to him, and they always battle. I own a lot of real estate in Drummond's head, and I'm on my way to build more. Hashtag bum. Hashtag the process. And yes, we've heard rumors that one game where Andre Drummond sat out, was it because he was scared of old Embiid or not? And in the beginning of uh, Drummond's career, he was looking to be a dominant center for the Detroit Pistons, and things kind of went south. I mean, there's some funny things on here before we get into the stats. Um, let's look at this video real quick when he was on Cleveland. Uh, I mean, look at this. Attacking a basket, doing a circus shot. Now, I mean, he had pretty good stats when he played against Cleveland. But, I mean, you know Sixers Twitter, right? As soon as somebody comes on, if they have any baggage or any problems, and especially the people who are not letting the beef between Embiid and him go, they're going to pull this up. So, Sixers Twitter come up with this. Ew. But he offers more than just this. There's definitely good highlights there. And... Let's not forget when he was a Detroit Piston and he was messing with, uh, I forgot her real name, but if you have little kids or little sisters, or if you were young, you watched the iCarly and all that stuff, and it's the Sam from iCarly, and that was his girl when he was early in the NBA with the Pistons. I mean, like, he got clowned a lot for, for different things, and I guess, like, she broke up with him and, like, broke his heart. I don't even know. But in all reality... If you take all this away and look at what he's done, uh, when he was a starter for Cleveland and played 28 minutes in a 25-game sample size, he averaged 17.5 points and 13.5 rebounds. So here's the thing. Embiid needs to be healthy in the playoffs, regardless if Ben Simmons is here or not. And hopefully he's not, and we'll talk about that. But MB needs to be healthy, and this guy can offer more minutes without fouling out than Dwight Howard. And you see if he plays close to 30 minutes in Embiid's absence, he can almost get you 18 and 14, and he offers a lot on the defensive side of the ball. 
He still can do that. And then he played for the Lakers in a 21-game sample size where he was a backup. He did try to start a little bit on side of uh, Anthony Davis and didn't really work. LeBron wasn't there. AD wasn't there. blah de blah blah But in a smaller sample size, 24 minutes, he averaged 12 and 10. So if we're giving him 15 and 19 or 17 to 22 minutes off the bench, he can score 12 to 14 points and get you 10 to 14 rebounds, which is good. And this can even result in us resting Embiid on some back-to-backs and games that he just doesn't need to play. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Um, but Drummond and Ben Simmons in the same lineup is a death lineup. The same way it was with Dwight Howard in the lineup together. Two guys who can't shoot can't be in a lineup, especially when the guy who's willing to shoot is Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard attempted more threes than Ben Simmons. That is horrible. But let's, uh, on Dwight Howard, let's look at this. Now, I'm not going to pull up the whole thing. I just want to pull up the little thing he said. Now, Dwight Howard did have a nice goodbye saying, said he loved the energy in Philly, loved the city. There was a big picture, but if I put it here, I don't know how I can get it to read it. So he said a lot of good things about Philly, the energy. And then at the end, he said, this year we came up short, but we had an amazing season. Thank you to the entire Sixers staff. We will always be family. And Ben, Ben Janis. Emoji laughing, emoji laughing, emoji laughing. And then he said, hashtag, I want my parade, thinking he's going to win it all with the Lakers. We'll see about that. But he said in his farewell, because he knows he's not teammates with Ben Simmons. See, that's the thing. Danny Green sticking up for him just because they're teammates. Outside of that, they're, they're la behind closed doors, they're laughing at Ben Simmons. This man, Dwight Howard, had to give a little shot. And Ben Simmons? Ben Janice. Hit your free throws. I think he shot better than Ben Simmons in the playoffs at the free throw line. And that is bad. But like I said, all joking aside, what Andre Drubber will offer you is a vet minimum like Dwight Howard. He could play more minutes without fouling out. He's just as good on defense, just as good at rebounding, but he has a post game. So you can actually play him more for Joel Embiid if need be. So losing a guy who gave us a lot of energy off the bench in Dwight Howard, it's good to replace him with someone who's equivalent, if not better, at this point of their careers. Of course, Dwight Howard, Superman, was the dude, but he's in his latter part of his career, and Andre Drummond is still 27. I don't see Andre Drummond signing with us long term. This is a prove it deal, and I wonder how he's going to mesh with Embiid because that is the, the only person I'm concerned about on this team at all. And we'll have to see how all that goes. But of course, they probably, no way Daryl Morey and Doc Rivers didn't run it through MB. Best believe that. Best believe that. So I guess he's good with it. Um, just to finish up on some Ben Simmons news, you know, he's in the gym shooting. I didn't pull that picture. It is what it is. I mean, at this point, because of Ben Simmons or Tobias Harris' contract, we're not going to be able to sign many players. Patty Mills just went to the. The Brooklyn Nets. I would love to get Patty Mills. He took six million a year, two year deal, twelve million. That would have been good. I don't know what we're gonna do. We did sign Furcon Corkmas to a three year deal, fifteen million dollars. So what is that? Do the math. Five years, five million a year. I mean, it is what it is. Seth Curry will come back. I don't know what's gonna happen with Danny Green. Uh, you know, there were guys like Wayne Ellington and, and, and guys who can just come in and offer you three-point shooting that I'm surprised we didn't target some some cheap guys. But it is what it is. But if you were happy with Dwight Howard on a vet minimum, this is all we're going to get is drumming for a year. They He will be the backup. He will not start. And uh, I'm just shocked that Daryl Moy didn't, you know, because of what he's asking for, he's really, he's really putting all his baskets in a Bradley Beal wanting out, which I doubt that now. The last but not least thing is Dame Lillard saying, I really want out after the Olympics. And if that don't happen, we're going to run it back. There is a, a, a real scenario now that the Sixers run it back. For what? How? I mean, I know a lot of people didn't want to settle for... An okay deal, 
But this is where we're at now. This is where we're at. But at the end of the day, the Andre Drummond deal is... It is what it is. It's Dwight Howard's replacement. That's why it's a vet minimum. And that's why he got to prove himself. But as long as Embiid is good, I'm good. If we run it back, this team will look good throughout the regular season. But I'm nervous about the, the playoffs. The Chicago Bulls are coming up. They got Levine, Vucevic, Lonzo Ball. And while I'm doing this podcast, they just got DeRozan. So the Bulls are coming up. The Heat are coming up. ATL beat us. The Bucks are still there. Brooklyn's going to get healthy, and they're, and they're at least signing, you know, Griffin back, Patty Mills. Toronto's going to eventually be pretty good. And like I said, the Heat got Lowry. So what are we doing? We were the number one seed, but there was a lot of uh, weird things that happened. Pause. Weird things that happened. And I'm not saying we couldn't be that. Ben Simmons is Ben Simmons, and he just doesn't care. Tobias cares, but comes up short. And Embiid is too big to do it all season into the playoffs by himself. Somebody save us. With that being said, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section. I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Talk Podcast. Until next time, y'all know what time it is. We out.